today we're going to talk about function notation. The first thing that we need to remember is that function notation is what we call when we call the y value or the function value f of x function of x. One of the things that we must remember is that f of x, the whole um, conjunction of this, equals y. And what we have inside of the parentheses represents the independent variable in this case. In most cases, is going to be x. Now, here we have a very specific example. In my first example, they are asking, they're giving me my f of x, my function, which is 3x minus 7. And they want me to find f of 7. The first thing that we need to focus is how the 7 is inside of the parentheses. As we mentioned before, x is always what goes inside of the parentheses because it's the independent variable. So in this case, the 7 is representing the x value or is telling you that the independent variable has a value of 7. In this occasion, we are going to try to determine the function values of, a, of our function using a table. So we need to focus first into producing the table of our function. And for that, as we might remember, we have to use, to produce a table, we have to first use our graph. So we have to go and open a graph right here. Let's open it. And obviously it goes straight to f of x. We have to use the function notation in order to produce a table. So in this case, my function is 3x minus 7. I press enter, and here is my graph. But as we said, we are going to use the table. To generate the table, we go to menu, table, which is number 7, and split screen, which is number 1. So here in the table, you can notice that, as always, the first column is your x, and the second column is your f of x or y values. You can even see the function that you utilize. So in my first example, I'm looking for f, x, f of 7, which means that my x value is 7. So the only thing that we have to do is get on the x column and arrow down until we find our x 7. Once that I do that, I can see that the function value when x is 7 is 14. So... After looking at our table values, we can determine that f of 7, or the value of the function when x is 7, is equal to 14. In our second example, we have the example of f of x equals negative 16. So we can look this different ways. We can say that the whole function value equals negative 16, and we're trying to determine the x value because this is what is missing. The other way, as we mentioned before, f of x is the same as y, so we can also think about it as the y value is negative 16, and we're trying to determine the value of x that will give us as a result negative 16. For our second example, as we said, f of x equals negative 16, so my function value is negative 16. So that means that now I'm going to look for my value of negative 16 in my function column, so the second column. If I keep going down, I can see that the numbers are getting bigger and positive, more positive, so I'm going to go up until I find the desired number, in this case negative 16. So when the function has a value of negative 16, the x value that is paired with, or at that moment, is negative 3, and this will be our answer. After looking at our table values, we can determine that when y, or the function, equals negative 16, the value of x is negative 3. I hope you find this very helpful.